Okay, so I'm going to try to start this Ford F-150 here and uh, let's see what happens. Um, when I tap the gas pedal, I push it to the floor, nothing. I got the wrench. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I'm going to try to check the codes on this vehicle and see what we got. I hooked up my OBD2 scanner and here are the two trouble codes I received. The first trouble code was P2104, which means the engine control module detects a major failure in the throttle actuator control system. This causes the engine control module to go into forced idle. Basically, this explains why the gas pedal would not work. The second trouble code I received was P2111. This trouble code shows the throttle actuator control system is stuck open. The throttle actuator is operated by the engine control module, the same engine control module that created the forced idle state. This means the trouble codes are related and probably point to the same problem. After doing some research, I ended up buying a new throttle body assembly. So when you work on vehicles, it's always a good idea to put on your PPE. PPE, personal protective equipment. And it could be a face shield, it could be goggles, and it could be these nice gloves that I'm showing you right here. Okay, so it looks like the problem is right here on the throttle body assembly. So I, I ended up buying a new one, and I'm going to replace it right now. And I'll show you how to replace this unit. So the first thing you want to do is take off this negative battery terminal. Next, you want to loosen the hose clamp that holds on the air intake duct. Once you get it loose, remove it from the throttle body. Okay, so after removing the, the air, you want to take off these, take off each one of these connectors. This is the first one I take off. And, and this is going to be the second one I take off. So for this part of the job, you're going to need an 8 millimeter socket. And I use a, an extension, a three, three, four inch extension is enough. Okay, so after pulling off the throttle body, um, we have this. This gasket that we want to reuse. We want to reuse this gasket, so just peel it off and, and hold on to it. I always like to do a side-by-side -side comparison when I get new parts, just to make sure that they look the same. Cause, uh, just because they tell you it's the right part doesn't mean it's the right part. So anyway, this is the old one. As you can see, it's pretty uh, gunky. Uh, and here's my brand new one. So there's the side by side. So when putting back on the new throttle body, as you can see, I put the gasket on. I got the, the top two bolts started here.
Okay, now that I tightened all these bolts, uh, we're going to go ahead and put these back on. After you put it on, go ahead and push in on this. That's your release. If you didn't know, that's how you pull it on and off. Snug it. Okay, so I put both electrical connectors back on. Now it's time to put this air. Air back on. We gotta get the air on. Alright, everything looks good. Let's reconnect the battery. Okay, nice and snug. Okay, so let's try starting this Ford up. Hopefully it works. Whoa, the wrench light went away. It's gone. Oh my, this is nice. It looks like we might have actually fixed the problem. So now it's time to run this engine at least 10, 15 minutes. Uh, let it idle. Do some, uh, maybe do some driving around the neighborhood. Okay, so here's the Ford F-150 after I've let it idle for a few minutes. Everything sounds pretty normal. Uh, as you can see, we put the new throttle body on here. Good. So I'm excited. 